WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, 4 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market final. And we're looking at the Dow down 106 at 34,518. It was much lower. It was in the 34,311 uh, area earlier on. So it's come back, but it's still, this is a pink nine-period exponential moving average says that the market is still weak on the daily basis. It has to break into the 34,800s to really say, hey, hey, I've got strength rather than weakness. But the weakness is saying that it holds all the levels of support. So as we're looking at it right now, we'll see what the Fed does tomorrow because my, my thinking here is that the market was anticipating maybe the Fed helps out tomorrow. You've got the S&P a week down almost 10 at 4444. And uh, by, by the end of tomorrow, if the S&P is up in the 4462 area or higher, that'll be kind of important. But it really needs to get a lot higher to start to improve the daily chart. The weekly chart in all of these are holding really well. Look at the QQQ. This is the NDX 100 trading vehicle. Uh, trading at uh, down 65 cents at 370.14. Now, this had an S to it. The nine period moving average went under the 14 earlier in the day. As we got to the close, it flipped back to green. But the actual chart formation, this arch formation says this inside track, these green and pink lines here, there's a little mini channel. That's tremendous resistance. It needs to climb over there in September to say, hey, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done with this consolidation. But look at that weekly chart. It's still holding well. IWM has been very weak. It's down uh, 65 cents at 181.73. It's actually testing and breaking the left side low. It's right on the weekly 200 period moving average. Ha, talk about that. Look at the gold contract. Gold contract almost unchanged in 1953. Holding steady but under the 200 period moving average. And when you think of how well the dollar is done, I have to say gold is holding, but that doesn't mean to say it's going to break to the upside yet. We'll see what happens with Fed speak tomorrow. But the dollar's holding well at 105.15, up six ticks. And we'll see if there's going to be this Chapman wave falling exclamation. Hey, I just look, look lower highs and much lower lows. Let's we'll see if it suddenly breaks to the upside for leg D. Or this is the moment that the dollar starts to pull back. Crude oil was very strong today. It gave back a little bit at the close, and the TLT is going to test that 92 area. Can the TLT bonds break down? This is Basil Chapman signing off. Have a great weekend. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Have a great evening.